Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Here's a video of a Brazilian wave wig and it was originally 24 inches. It's gonna be a quick video. Just wanted to give you an idea of if you're having trouble learning how to style or curl, here's some tips. First, all right, I wanted you to see the lace. It's like a dark brown lace and it's a very rough lace because it's only slightly laced and that's the underneath it. It's like a side part with a swerve. All right, so again, that rubber band indicates where I'm gonna cut off. Now I'm brushing the hair and just detangling it and making sure it's good to go. So when I cut it, yeah, this hair is really, really soft though, I must say, it's from It's a Wig. It's really, really nice hair. Yes, just gotta get the tangles out and hopefully, you know, probably see if the hair itself can last a while, but all right, so. Now I'm razor cutting the hair with my razor, all right, and Take a look at the technique. You want to do it at an angle so it won't be blunt. Unless if you want it blunt, then you probably use shears. But for this, I'm going to use the razor blade and that you can get at the local beauty supply store. So you just want something that is a shaver for your hair. And it really works. The only thing I would say is that I bought a lot of them because sometimes they're a little flimsy. So maybe if you wanted to get your own blades and put in there, then, then it might be a little sharper. Or the silver blade is good too. The tapered cut. So I'm tapering it now. Just want to get it a little, the edges somewhat even, but still not as blunt as it could be with a straight uh, shears. So we've cut it to our liking. Now I'm going to flat iron the hair. I was thinking about curling the hair while it's wavy, but I don't think that's a good deal because some parts might be a little wavier than others. So I want some consistency. So let's straighten it. Let's see if this hair can handle the heat. So the hair can handle heat pretty well, I must say. It didn't like break off. I mean, a few little break offs here and there, but nothing dramatic. And it actually got straight, but if I put probably a lot more heat on it and kept pressing it out, it could have gotten a lot straighter. But I just wanted the waves pretty much out for now. So I started curling the hair with a wand, which I thought it would give it nice curls, but it ended up looking just the same as it did before, just shorter. So I said, all right, let me give with an actual curling iron and do some like barrel curls small barrel curls shoot the curls don't look half bad all right now so i'm so next what i'm going to do is fix the part next what i'm going to do is fix the part the part definitely needs to be plucked it like looks so unrealistic it's very dark and nobody's scalp is this dark so i'm just going to pluck it as much as i can but since this is like triple knotted it's kind of difficult to pluck a lot out of it so i'm just going to do as best as i can and try to camouflage and let's see you know let's trick it out a little bit all right, so now I am putting some makeup. This is MAC powder, pressed powder, you can use foundation or whatever. But the person I'm working with, they're darker skin than I am. So this one is the closest that I have. And I'll also do something underneath it too, maybe a little foundation if the knots are still too dark. So this is what you want to do is kind of make the knots not as dark and just put something in between the part so it won't look like you're working around with a real witch wig. So, because that ain't cute. Here's the final product. I think it came out really, really well. It looks nice, it's soft, the curls are flowing. I can't wait to see it on. And don't forget to cut the lace. That is very important. I'm going to give it a try. I'm gonna cut it and see if it looks even better. If you have any questions, any ideas, just comment below. And thanks for tuning in, I'm Mercy Simone.